hundreds of thousands of people will descend on downtown Spokane this weekend for a little tournament called Hoop Fest. KXOY4's Aaron Luna working for you. He joins us now live downtown. And Aaron, with all the construction going on, especially on Monroe, how are we supposed to get there? <laughs> well, Nadine. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to invade downtown. Plus, it's construction season. You may be thinking Hoop Fest might be something you want to pass up on. But if you can't stand to miss out on all that action, here's a couple of things you might want to look out for. The cone zone off Monroe is always a big one to look out for. The bottleneck will start up by Main and stretch all the way down to 4th and 5th Avenue. Here's a guy that knows a thing or two about maneuvering through traffic. They're really encouraging people to try the Hamilton exit just east of downtown, park in the U District area. Of course, if you don't feel like driving, well, you can always take the bus. Hoop Loop, it's $1.50 for the day. It drops you on a couple different points on site. But if the bus isn't your thing, you can always catch an Uber. And while you're in that Uber, don't forget to check the Hoop Fest app. You know, the app has a great mapping feature, so you can use that to plan your day a little bit. And no matter the obstacles, if you plan ahead, you're going to have a great Hoop Fest. And don't forget, there are only three locations for Uber pickup drop off locations. Here's a map, we'll tell you where those are. Those locations include Howard and Cataldo, Lincoln and Maine, Bernard, and Riverside. Of course, Hoop Fest weekend is always busy. Matt Santangelo, director of Hoop Fest, tells me that for Uber, it's going to be the busiest weekend this year for the entire state. That's something to think about. Reporting live downtown, I'm Aaron Luna, KXLY4 News. Uh, good advice, nicely done there, Aaron.